both PSK method a good news to people all over the world the news is all electronics home appliances like CFL lights digital set top boxes DVD player electronics table fans and the ceiling fans fluorescent tube lights with electronic ballast mobile charger personal computer tv sets induction stoves drives with vfd controller can be operated with dc source of 180 to 280 volts instead of alternate current source of 100 to 260 volts inverter device for converting dc to ac is not necessary this discovery is by dr p s kannan professor of electrical and electronics engineering madurai tamil nadu india which leads to save electrical energy in the field of uninterrupted power supply by solar system operations continuous power can be provided to homes by creating dc microgrid with fuel cells solar panels and rectified normal supply the method based on the above concepts in name as psk method of uninterrupted power supply bar solar system the major advantages of the method are point number 1 low direct current operations leads to less line loss and thereby reducing heat effect with avoid global warming point number 2 reduces size of the conductors point number 3 batteries can be kept at anywhere conveniently not necessary close to the microgrid device point number 4 small size batteries are sufficient point number 5 deep discharge of battery is possible point number 6 incurred less insulation cost point number 7 no conversion loss point number 8 nil sine wave problems point number 9 reducing the bill amount for energy con- consumption point number 10 no harmonics and finally maintenance is free we are publishing this information for creating awareness all manufacturing companies must mention dc operating voltage in their product manual additionally sai amsa solar power solutions for psk method ups bar solar system please watch the following demonstration video thanking you the entire psk method of ups and solar system is displayed in the house the first box is a relay control for automation second box is the load box having a meter to indicate the load current next ammeter is indicating the solar current and another ammeter third ammeter is indicating the battery current the the that is current delivered by the battery and the last box bigger one is having voltmeter to indicate the voltage and below which and another ammeter which is indicating the charging current now uh, at the top you can see a bulb that bulb indicates the charging efficiency now the solar is sufficient to make the load as well as the charging current therefore the solar current is the sum of load current plus charging current battery current is at the most zero now i am going to show the load current you can see now load current is we can see the load current is about 
0.25 amperes 0.25 amperes now you can see the solar current okay. it is approximately and again 0.5 ampere therefore the remaining 0.25 that is subtracting the load current the remaining is 0.25 is going to be used for charging the battery now you see that battery delivered current is zero now battery is not delivering any power to the load now this is the charging current for the battery as i said before this also equal to 0.25 ampere so charging current 0.25 load current 0.25 equal to the solar current 0.5 ampere. Uh, the operating voltage is at the most 250 volt. You can see it in the voltmeter. It is 250 volt. Now I am going to increase the load current by adding load. You can see that. I am going to increase the load current. Now the load current is about 0.4 ampere. And you can see the solar current is reduced because of the sun is not fully present therefore it is pioneering to 0.4 so full current is going to the load the solar current is completely supporting the load current therefore the charging current becomes zero and battery delivered current is slightly higher than zero why because of the failure of uh, solar slightly therefore that is supporting this so this is the method now you can see the, there will be a, a failure in the sunlight now immediately after the sunlight is uh, um, say improved the solar current will increase and battery current reduces charging current will be increased when solar current is being increased when the solar power is improved now we will wait for some time and see that whether it is being improved or not. Now slightly it is going on, solar power is coming up and you can see that solar power increases. So increased because of the rays in sunlight. Now again it reaches 0.5 and therefore you can see that charging current also increases, battery current becomes zero. The load current is only 0.4 I am keeping as I increased before. So this is the way how the solar energy is being used along with the battery energy. Battery is available below of the entire model. So I can show. So this is very useful and we can easily monitor how much power is going inside from the solar. Similarly from the battery how much power is being delivered everything can be easily and you can see that bulb so not displaying any not being eliminated because now again solar failure that means sunlight falls therefore the current becomes zero charging current zero battery current is higher slightly higher than zero and solar current is reduced
and this variation is now shown in this video. So this entire uh, model displayed is to illustrate the PSK method of UPS and solar system. See, thank you very much.